हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम 13.3 फ्रॉम चैप्टर 13 रिसिप्रोकेटिंग इंटरनल कंबशन इंजन्स फ्रॉम द बुक अप्लाइड थर्मोडायनेमिक्स बाय टी डी स्टॉप एंड मिथंकी बिफोर स्टार्टिंग प्लीज इफ यू आर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम kindly subscribe my channel also to get new notifications for the upcoming videos please like and share my channel as well the statement of problem 13.3 is the engine of problem 13.2 as discussed in previous video is supplied with a mixture of gas and air in the proportion of 1 to 7 by volume the estimated volumetric efficiency is 85% and the net calorific value of the gas is 38.6 megajoule per cubic meter calculate the break thermal efficiency of the engine first of all the data in this statement will be written some data of problem 13.2 will be used in calculations it is given that the total volume consist of eight parts total volume is represented by v dot this is basically the total volumetric flow rate not volume but it is the volumetric volumetric flow rate which is induced inside the cylinder of the engine so seven parts of fuel that is gas and one part of air is used in this process so when we sum of we get at v dot f where v dot f is the volumetric fuel flow rate and v dot is the total volumetric flow rate both have units of cubic meter per second in this calculations volumetric efficiency is given 85% or 0.85 the net calorific value of the gas is 38.6 megajoule per cubic meter we are required to find the break thermal efficiency of the engine so we have an expression for break thermal efficiency which is given as eta bt bt is stands for break thermal efficiency it is the ratio of break power to volumetric fuel flow rate and the net calorific value of the gas this is the expression for the break thermal efficiency let's suppose this is expression a from the previous problem 13.2 we have break power value which is equal to 2 pi nt and it is 298.1 kilowatt also in this case we are interested to find the value of v dot s which is the swift volumetric flow rate so v dot s is equal to al capital n into small n divided by 120 if we are calculating the value of swift volume flow rate in cubic meter per second we will divide it by 60 the general expression for volumetric swift volume flow rate is al capital n into small n divided by 2 so in that case the unit will be cubic meter per minute so to convert it to cubic meter per second we will divide it by 60 so 60 multiplied by 2 comes out 120 so that's why 120 is written over here further we have 
expression for area which is pi d square by 4. So 4 is multiplied with 120 it becomes 480 into L into capital N which is the speed engine and small n which is the number of cylinders. So putting the values D is given 0.38, L is given 0 0.585 and capital N is the engine speed which is 240 rpm and small n is 2. These values are taken from problem 13.2 as it is given in the statement of problem 13.3 that the same engine has been used in this problem. So the volumetric swift volume flow rate comes out 0 0.2654 cubic meter per second. Further we have a relationship for volumetric efficiency which is equal to V dot over V dot S where V dot is the total volume flow rate. So in this case we are interested to find the value of this volume flow rate, the total volume flow rate of air and gas. So volumetric efficiency is 0 0.85 and swift volume flow rate is 0 0.2654 as calculated above. So the value of V dot comes out 0 0.2256 cubic meter per second. Now it's easy to find the value of V dot F because we have the relationship between V dot and V dot F which is equal to 8 V dot F. So rearranging it for V dot F, V dot F is equal to V dot over 8. So the value of V dot F is 0 0.0282 cubic meter per second. Here I am repeating it again. V dot F is the volume flow rate of the fuel induced inside the cylinder. So now further to calculate the brake thermal efficiency for that we have the expression as discussed above brake power divided by V dot F into Q net or net calorific value of the gas. So this is the brake power calculated in 13.2 problem as well 298.1 in kilowatt it will become 10 to the power 3 divided by 0 0.0282 this is the value of V dot F volumetric flow rate of the fuel into Q net which is 38.6 mega joule per cubic meter so mega is converted to 10 to the power 6 so the unit becomes joule per cubic meter so simplifying this we get the value for brake thermal efficiency which comes out 27.4 percent. So this is the required value of brake thermal efficiency. So this is all about problem 13.3. If you like my videos please subscribe my channel also to get the new videos Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please like and comment on my videos. Also subscribe my channel to get new videos.